got you know full boost in first and second gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's only tickling the throttle. We've got a lot more revs to go as well. Holy! So today, guys, you join me from the driver's seat of a EP3 Turbo. The lovely lad here, Joe, has uh, given me the keys. We're going to go out for a little ride in this. Yeah. I think we're going to have some some fun. Yeah, we're going to have some good. fun. Yeah. Running 370, you know, on a, on a, on a, on a good map at the yeah. moment. Um, very strong pull for all of the gears which is what we yeah. found already you know you've taken me out already and it's yeah. just quite seriously brutal um in my <laughs> opinion is, yeah. reality is you can force twice the brake horsepower through these ep3s which is hilarious to me you coming from what a 197 did you have oh, last yeah, 200 um a 200 so coming from a clio 200 yeah. last was quite a shock to the system when you got in this then, I think. Why did you make that, you know, change? Obviously, you've only had French cars yeah. since day one. Yeah. So what was the big idea? Um, it was a good idea. Let's was, just say yeah. that, it was a I good idea. toying at more power. So yeah. Clio is a good car, but, you know. You are very capped. Yeah. You? you can't really turbo break, them. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of money, you possibly beg engine in, but there's yeah. a lot of work in it. Um, and then going on to this. The guy that I bought it from, Sam, yeah. um, he put in the Clio for him getting rid of this and like you wanted a 200 yeah and i was just like you were like hand up right yeah, i'll have that like, so the car itself is a premier edition yeah uh 2005 2000 yeah 55, um, with 2005. what 70 73k which is a good all-rounder to start yeah, with exactly. you get these fancy ricaros with the with that edition uh very big fan of these and they you know are taken out of these cars and put into yeah, other cars yeah, yeah. quite a lot but what we all want to talk about is that engine yeah it hasn't been opened i'm assuming it hasn't been uh, forged at all yeah, no, no cams and stuff no. so it's running a conservative 370 brake horsepower with a screamer pipe <laughs> that's literally facing the bottom of the engine all the way down to the ground basically yes. it announces itself very well when it comes yeah. on boost because it does not make a bloody racket yeah. exhaust system what exhaust yeah. system is it's it? a tegra cap back decap yeah down so one, that's down one. do you know what we've noticed like this completely silent yeah. apps like a nice car to be in it's yeah. very civilized um you wouldn't know looking outside this as well that it had that sort of power the only thing that lets it, you know, or gives it away is the intercooler on the front. Yeah. But you can't quite tell. It does sort of fit in, not riced out, Civic, with some bloody good power. Exactly. And That's this it. is exactly what this is. So guys, let's have a quick look around this EP3 Type R. Now, starting off at the front, we have this Spec R yeah, intercooler yeah, going into completely custom, going into the front of the car. Got a point of plate out as well. Obviously, if this was spaced over a little bit, K20, I'll see ya. Perfect plate for this car in my books. Coming round this wheels, Evo 8 wheels, yeah, um, Enkeys. Very cool idea. You know, a lot of Civics do run these and they work very well. Yeah. Quite good. Coming round the back, we've got a Honda sticker as well. Shout out to Honda. Um, exhaust. What exhaust have we got? It's a Tegra uh, catback with a custom downpipe. So coming back. from, you know, yeah. all that goodness at the front coming all the way to the back but other than that i think the styling and how the car actually is is relatively standard yes, completely, um completely standard. you know just a very clean version of itself yeah. we'll go inside because we have to show we have to show you guys these seats seats are just why you would buy the premier edition do you know what i mean it's red carpets going through very nice but these seats are the reason i would buy these other than you know the standard well. yeah and you know <laughs> bigger larger guys can fit in these which are quite nice i do like this where you can pull it out and there's actually ricaro underneath it as well um coming inside you've got defi gauges going across there really really cool sort of in keeping i think that 
only really you know shows the turbo and you know there's a bit more excitement underneath the bonnet if that wasn't there you wouldn't even have a clue going under the bonnet though the ps de resistance i'm going to call it yeah. of this car the k20 engine obviously a standard feature but this one is far from standard underneath you got a 34 31e precision, precision turbo just there yeah. ram air filter as well going into screw and pipe and custom downpipe facing down so it gives that I don't know, it's a funny screamer pipe noise. Yeah. It's really, really cool though. And then the custom intercooler coming down yeah. just to the front of the car. 1,000cc injectors as well. Yeah. And the fuel pump obviously at the back somewhere, a 244 Walbra, uh, making a very, very perfect, in my opinion, 370 brake horsepower. Uh, I've got to admit, very, it's on point. It's probably the only EP3 I've driven in recent times that's very refined. Yeah. It's just off boost. You wouldn't even know. You, you wouldn't even know. Yeah. You can drive it just like a daily driver. Yeah. And you do daily drive this. You take it to work. You know. yeah. It's a daily drivable 370 <laughs> brake horsepower Honda, <laughs> which is hilarious. It's cool when you say it like that. It is very cool when you say it like that. <laughs> you know, it, it has two sides. It's got a personality where if you do put your foot down, even in third, fifth gear then, and it is like way yeah. taking you across yeah. the road, which is... I think that's, that's the part of it, isn't it? Like yeah. the front wheel drive excitement is there once you put your foot down and you grab the steering wheel with two hands and hold on for dear yeah. life, basically. Yeah. So it's a boost by gear setup as yeah. well. So you're not, you know, full boost in first and second gear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's only tickling the throttle. We've yeah. got a lot more revs to go as well. I bet you got a big shock when you got into this when you bought it. <laughs> Yeah, it was wet as well. Oh, wow. So you did well that day. Yeah. Good um, effort. It is a little bit greasy, a little bit wet today. So, you know, the full potential of this car won't be seen, unfortunately. But it's something that we can still experience just tickling the throttle yeah, pretty much. It, it absolutely okay. flies, though. It absolutely yeah. flies. You crest in boost at what? Just coming into 5,000 RPM yeah. and you know it's on boost as well because it lets you know because of that scream. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely sings its head off. <laughs> so driving feel, I think that's what we got to touch on. Yeah. Although, you know, the EP3 is a fantastic base car, you do force this sort of power through there and you do have to grab it. You do have Definitely. to grab this yeah, car and something. really work with it. The clutch is good, a little bit snatchy if you're jumping into it, but I think yeah. it's still a very good clutch for yeah. this setup. It can hold its power. <laughs> What's suspension you on the eye back? Yeah. Shocks and springs? Uh, all no. round or just springs? Yeah, just springs. Just springs. springs. That's why it's still so comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'll be why. Yeah. It's a very comfortable car, this, even with that power. Um, it's not too heavily modified. It, it copes with the power, yeah. but it still retains the niceness yeah. of a, you know, quite a nice Civic. Yeah, you just drive it normally. Yeah. You can drive it normally. You can, you know, experience it as a, not a standard form, but like a slightly modified form. Yeah which I appreciate because you don't want an all out and out race car sometimes. No, no. You do want to get in this at seven o'clock on a Monday morning and be able to drive to yeah, work exactly. and yeah. then, you know, come on full yeah. boost on the way there. Yeah, <laughs> if you yeah. really want to. Thousand cc injectors as well and a Walbra 244 pump, I'm assuming. I'd say, and this is me saying this, this is the perfect setup for an EP3 because it's not too fast, too powerful. I know people will be like, what, too powerful? Yeah. Oh. But you have really got to, you know, put the power down to have all that brake horsepower yeah, exactly. going. Um, so I think 370, you know, is a good power margin to go with how this car will perform with that power. We had a bit of grip then as well, which was quite yeah. nice. <laughs> Do you know what I love? The base of an EP3 is such a fun car, and then you throw 
what is in you know reality twice the power through it it still retains the short shift you know yeah. ability and the the steering is still tight but then you, you drop it into what third <laughs> grab another gear <laughs> slightly addictive and you just want to stay on like boost the whole time because it makes the best noise ever yeah, screamer pipes for the win yeah, all day long definitely. all day long